Oh, two minutes 24, John, now to totality. It really dark outside. And it this is, is the is. Isles of Scilly. Now, if we've got two minutes and 17 seconds, they've only got just over a minute, haven't they, until totality? Uh, they've got just over a minute, about a minute and 10 seconds from now. And we can see the crescent has thinned now. It's very, very thin. We can see the horns here are now beginning to draw in. And this is when your hands sweat. The <laughs> hairs on the back of your neck really get tense. Here are the horns drawing in now, and then we're going to see this fade all the way down to a single point of light. I don't think we're going to get a very spectacular show of Bailey's beads as we go into totality. We'll come back to that in a minute, John, but just here, look how dark it's got outside here. Isn't it absolutely Marizion. wonderful? <laughs> wonderful. <laughs> it turns you on, does it, John? It really does. Oh, we just lost the picture there, uh, but uh, if we can get that back, then we'll see plunge into totality and Silly's in about 30 seconds. Oh right. If we can get that back. Have you still, can we still see the Silly Islands because we've got about 30 seconds to totality? We've got reckon? about 15 seconds now. 15 seconds? And so we've got 10 we seconds Look. to go. Here we are, single point of light, breaks into a couple of beads, disappears. Now they'll be able to see the corona uh, if they can't see it through the clouds. We're coming up well, here. Now we've Here's got the Hercules, John, so... OK. And they're about where we are, so what are we doing? We're about a minute away? We've got a bit less than a minute, I think, uh, to go. Uh, they're a bit to the west of us. And again, we can see things spinning and the horns drawing in. Great shouting going on outside here. And at the Radio 1 outing there. Absolutely. Um, hope nobody gets dazzled by all the flashes that go off. <laughs> Tremendous. Uh, and here's the Hercules. Here's the Hercules again. We can see the, uh, the horns drawing in again, coming down to a single point of light, about 30 seconds or so to go here. People are yelling. Now it is dark. Out, see that the horizon to the south is still bright. We're looking out of the zone of totality there. Looks like a huge end of the world experience to the west. Still light towards Patrick and Falmer. Isn't this absolutely wonderful? Now you're convinced this is what people come for. It's extraordinary out here. Here from the Hercules, we're beginning to see little beads forming at the end of the arc here as the last bit of sun is disappearing behind the moon. It's all breaking up now into this final point of light. Do you see what I mean about the gloom descending? It's just quite extraordinary. Look at the atmosphere out now, there. Now, here we've got a fascinating picture. Here's the sun disappearing. Here are some Bailey's beads. And there is totality. We begin to see some prominences around the sun here. And leave aside all the atmosphere and the height. This is what the scientists are looking at as well. Isn't this it? is really wonderful. Now we've got midnight outside. Midnight at midday. But now just a little bit of light on the far horizon. Here's the corona now. This wonderful structure of the sun's atmosphere being twisted and contorted and heated by the sun's magnetic field up to several million degrees. The only time you can see it by eye. So this is the time when you can actually see what the sun does. Absolutely. I spent 30 years studying this outer atmosphere of the sun for me. Ah. <laughs> Completely eerie, sir. Well, it's totally dark outside here, apart from just a bit of light on the far horizon, which is outside the zone of totality, isn't it? Yes. That's because the total zone is so narrow, yeah. we're looking out of the zone of totality. Now we're beginning to see the lightning in the west as uh, the total shadow is now passing over us. Uh, we've got two or three more seconds to go here. Totality is now essentially over here. Daylight returns. And it is. Yeah. That's extraordinary, isn't it? You can see... You can see, actually, on the... On the Hercules picture, you can see the light coming. Here you can see it, actually, on, on the horizon. Absolutely. And now, if we look to the east, we can see the shadow moving away. Uh, Patrick is probably about to come out of the shadow in Falmouth in about five seconds or so. 
and then uh, the shadow is still heading eastwards. Uh, so this is the diamond ring, isn't this it? This is the diamond ring coming out. Isn't that beautiful? Mm. The most precious, the most elusive diamond <laughs> that you will ever see. <laughs> now we're back uh, with the filtered camera here, and now we can see the arc of the sun returning. Those were incredible pictures from the plane. Did it do as much for you as it normally does, John, despite all the, all the clouds? Even, unfortunately, seeing it uh, here on the monitor, well, you can see I'm still smiling. <laughs> this has been absolutely <laughs> super. <laughs> and now the shadow's heading off yeah. over the channel. It's heading towards Patrick Moore, isn't it? It's left Patrick, it's now heading towards Alderney. They've got about... Uh, a minute and a bit to go before well, so uh, Hang on a second, then. John. Let's see if we can if we can see Patrick Moore. We can we can see how he reacted. Patrick, Patrick, um, did you enjoy that? Well, in a way, I did. It was an eerie experience, and clearly, young Cross showed that it was a marvelous but it was Down here, unfortunately, in St Anthony Head, we were under such a cloud. The drop in the light level was quite amazing, more than I'd ever known before, and the rise at the end, when it actually ended, was equally equally marked. It was a strange weird experience, one that I'm, in a way, glad to have been through, but very sorry we didn't see what was quite clearly a magnificent solar corona. You'll try to have an outside night program later on, but at the present moment I fear that we have to say that from here we didn't see the corona, but we did have a strange experience, and one that um, I think very few people will ever have again. So at least we have been through the last English total solar trips of the millennium. So it was really atmosphere you got, rather than anything scientific or astronomical, Patrick? Well, we got something. We got the temperature drop, certainly, and the light drop. We got that, and some strange atmospheric effects, too. A strange kind of breeze I've not come across before. We learnt something from it, because we didn't actually see it ourselves. And that's a, a great disappointment, but, well, we make the best of a bad job. And at least we saw something. We did have one tantalising view of the part of the phase about ten minutes earlier. Patrick, thanks very much indeed. Well, there was extraordinary scenes out, uh, outside here um, when, the, when the shadow passed over and went totally dark and everybody started screaming.